Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention of Le Pelletier. You might have some insight. Which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. A goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence, to sad. Mm -hmm. Le Pelletier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Take it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head. Bonjour, Citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia. Yeah. 
is for the real patriots! I don't strike every last one of your kind off my feet! Gutting traitors like you is my noble purpose in life! This may come well, in handy. I sell it as a remedy for sore nipples, for all I care. But I'm not buying a drop of it. <laughs> Trying to poison my customers. Sorry, sir. Ought to call the gendarme. I'll have it taken away as soon as the cart returns. Poisoned wine? What's next? Infected bread? Forgive me. Pardon, mademoiselle. Monsieur Le Pelletier has complained of stuffiness in his office. Could you open the window? What are you on about? Monsieur hates a drafty room. Would this persuade you? Oh, oui, monsieur. Remy, open the window. Monsieur Le Pelletier finds his office a bit stuffy. But, but you said... Just do it! All right. Ça va vous coûter un peu d'argent, monsieur.
Waiter. We oui, miss you. A bottle. Of... Ah. The king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, do we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Pelletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Il y a de l'agitation. Tu l'as connu Ugh! <laughs> 
Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Bring forth the condemned!
here, brother. Monsieur Germain, it's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge. Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Messieurs, je suis innocent de tout ce dont on m'a culpe. Je souhaite que mon sang puisse cimenter le bonheur des Français. Kings, killing symbol. Symbol can inspire fear. The fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. The Triumph Church are ground to dust. Who control the gold will decide the future. Is it Ranger? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. You're doing that! I know you're going! Protect the guard of honor! <laughs> Kill her! Elise, it's time to go. I can Bloody <laughs> Let's go! I'm not letting him get away! Damn it! 
It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think he'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refused to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save. What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise! What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen! Yes, but listen? Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideas or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. After Trenet. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him! The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. 